Okay. Uh, you and then there. I just have a follow up to the fracking question yeah. and also with um, the pipeline and other energy. If we don't want to use fracking and that kind of financial gap as a transition, then what are you guys proposing to do? Because we are going to have to transition somehow and it is going to take time and work and effort. So, what is your plan then instead of fracking? Well, I think you have to start, and as you got a sense from what Donald said earlier about how his approach to fact fracking is based on evidence. Green Party is not an ideologically grounded party. We're actually based on the evidence, and we're pretty pragmatic. As it happens, when you look at Canada's energy use, one of the things that's striking is that we waste more energy than we use in this country. So the inefficiency with which we're using the energy we have is the it's sort of the low-hanging fruit on the spectrum of choices that one can make about energy policy. Uh, you know, the obvious thing is not to go to fracking or oil sands, and in other words, unconventional ways of obtaining fossil fuels. If you're looking at what's your, what are your energy choices as a society, if you're wasting more energy than you use, the first thing is to maximize the energy efficiency of your transportation, built infrastructure. About a third of the greenhouse gases in Canada come from buildings. Institutions like UBIC have a very hard time because the last thing the president and the board are looking at for when, you're, when you've got a tight budget is can we retrofit the whole build, the whole university campus so that we go off the grid? You could, the technology's there, but the funds aren't there. So going to energy efficiency in transportation, heating, lighting, and cooling could actually substantially reduce, I mean, we could do twice as much uh, with half as much energy being used, in theory, and the technology is there to do it. At the same time, we need to do through the transition, the first place I, the, the Green Party policy focuses on is it doesn't apply to British Columbia, but a lot of Canadian provinces are burning coal for electricity. And in fact, up till now, I mean, I know they have goals for expansion in the oil sands, but at current levels of emissions from the oil sands in Alberta, there's more greenhouse gases coming from the coal-fired electricity plants operated by Transalta in Alberta than there are from their oil sands. So we want to have a sensible plan for transition. My, you know, the, the metaphor that always comes to mind for me in terms of what's going on with why are we going to fracking or tar sands, it's a lot, it's an addiction problem. Right? It's, not, it's not actually an economic problem or a technological problem. We're, as George Bush once said, <laughs> addicted to oil, addicted to fossil fuels. And you know when, you, when you've got an addiction problem, when, when it's strong, I always think about, you know, if you've got really good champagne, or you've got some really good Merlot, and that's all gone, and at some point if you've got a real addiction problem, the rubbing alcohol looks okay. <laughs> and, and, and that's the difference between where we were with conventional natural gas or conventional food, and going to scraping up vitamin, and processing it with steam. I mean, the whole, the whole concept of these things are really commercial viable options is the desperation of the addict. You know, so we need to transition off fossil fuels and not, not go crazy to try to squeeze the last bit out of the most remote, difficult, unconventional, and expensive ways to get energy. But the Green Party, by the way, we have a complete strategy on just about everything, findable on our website under policy, greenparty.ca, front homepage, go to policy, and click on Vision Green, and our policies on healthcare, our policies on foreign policies, our policies on trade deals, and our policy for a sustainable energy future, creating more jobs, and all that's all on the website. So then to you, sir.